Alrighty boys, welcome back to the shed. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Simpson Ghost Bandit to the Rurock Atlas 2.0 El Diablo edition. Hell yeah. So as always, let's get cracking. Alrighty boys, before we get started, I'd like to say that this video is not sponsored. Neither company have paid me a single dollar, let alone a cent. <laughs> this is just my humble opinion, which means absolutely nothing to most people, but if you're in the market for one, this might help you out. First off, the Simpson Ghost Bandit. I've been rocking this for a few years now, I'm tipping. I can't remember how long I've had it, since I started my YouTube channel. So. Two and a half years, I reckon, would be fairly accurate. I don't have many too bad things to say about this helmet. It is pretty badass. Um, I like it. I, I don't like clear visors on helmets, but obviously, as you can see, you can change all that shit. This thing is pretty light. It's a good helmet. doesn't feel too bulky on your head. Obviously, I've got a GoPro mount stuck on the front because, you know, videos. And... Um, Got the center 30k on the side so I can listen to music because no one else has one so I can't talk to anyone because they're not a big thing in Australia for some reason. They should be, it's cool. Weight wise, it's pretty light. I'm gonna roll some clips now of me on the bike riding the helmet so you can get a bit of a look what they look like when you're actually on a bike. Uh, these clips are when I was riding the live wire, the full electric Harley Davidson that's been released. So if you haven't checked that out, I did do a review video on that. So if you're interested, have a squeeze. So up until recently, I thought this was the best looking full face helmet you could get on the market. I know these things are getting flogged to death a little bit uh, due to all the Dyna Bros in the States. Like, that's like uniform now, you know, so... I don't know. They're, they're a wicked helmet. I love it, but you just see them everywhere now, so... I don't know. I'm like that kid that once it's cool, it's not cool. If you know what I mean. So now that I see these two helmets side by side, I sort of think that the Simpson gives off like a bit of a Spaceman vibe. <laughs> like an astronaut helmet, but... It's only due to the complete badassery of, of this helmet, but we're not onto this yet. We're still talking about this. So weight, it's pretty light. I don't know what they weigh, but I'll, if I have time, I'll throw it on the screen here for you. So the weight of that, obviously, the center will add absolutely nothing to it, so it should be accurate. I do have a couple of skid pig stickers on there, which just add another... Well, that should be 10, 5, 15 horsepower to your bike, so worthy upgrade. Functions. What I don't like about the Simpson is the old-fashioned stupid helmet clip that you need to thread through and then thread back. I solved that problem on this one by putting one of these quick-release clips in, which you can get. can't remember where from, but I'm sure if... You Google it or whatever, you'll find them. eBay, something like that. So I did fix that problem. The other drama, if you are making motorbike videos, is wind noise. It'll give you the shits. The, the vents everywhere, you need to pretty much block them off. But, gonna have the same issue over here. But I did that, just put some tape on the inside. GoPro mount looks absolutely hideous, but you need it if you're gonna be making Harley videos. So does have vents on the top. So I've never had a, a drama with this helmet like cooking my head or anything and we live in Australia dude so it gets pretty damn hot. Inside your padding and everything's extremely comfortable. I think these things were originally designed or Simpson was like drag racing helmets so I know the Outlaw Bandit um, didn't have as many breathing things or whatever but the ghost bandit more designed for what we do with street use the biggest thumbs up to simpson is this 
the flip down visor. I only used it a few times to be honest at night when I got stuck in the dark with no safety glasses. That is not amber from factory, I changed that out. That's actually tinted black when you buy it and this is clear which is terrible. So obviously you change that out to suit your preference. Maybe you like clear visors, I dead set hate clear visors so I had the dark smoke on, ended up going with the mirror. I think it dead set looks a hell of a lot better but yeah that's that. In the badassery department this was right up there um, until they were dead set everywhere so you know you see one crocodile in the wild you're like wow that's awesome so cool and then you see 15 million of them and you're like meh not so cool. We'll run a few clips of me riding with the ghost bandit and I'll give you a bit of insight when I'm actually sitting on a bike instead of standing behind the bar drinking beer talking to a camera. So let's do that. So it's light, it fits really really well so the size I wear is an extra large and I think it's just perfect for my head shape so I know everyone goes on about intermediate oval or whatever that is but I don't actually know what that is but I'm guessing that's what my head is which is otherwise known as just big <laughs> functionality this helmet does have some pretty cool features the one thing I dead set hate and that's passionately hate is the wind curtain underneath or the chin guard or whatever the hell you want to call that thing but I will refer to that thing as the beard crusher because if you leave that in and you have a beard it just destroys it, it you get this stupid friggin line in your beard like it's creased and you cannot get it out it just sucks back to the shed all right so let's address the El Diablo in the room this thing is just fire baby, I love this thing. So this is the Atlas 2.0 El Diablo. Just a dead set wicked looking helmet. To give you a, a better look at it, like it is just so damn cool. Like the graphics on this are amazing. So the looks of this thing, I think blow the Simpson out of the water. It's just, a mad looking helmet very aggressive i thought the simpson looked aggressive until i saw this helmet i'm like i need that in my life does have the vents here is going to be a bit of a pain in the dick to put a gopro on as well but i think i might try and use a strap or or something so i don't have to put a sticker on it but you know push come to shove i can whack one on you can always get them off weight wise this helmet is noticeably lighter than the Simpson and the Simpson is a light helmet so I don't know what this weighs yet again throw it up there it's ridiculously light like crazy light functionality this was the biggest thing I noticed straight away when I pulled it out of the box the clip is magnetic like that's all you do. You pick up that red tab, it's off, it's on. Straight out of the box. You don't have to muck around with that. It's awesome. It does take a little bit of getting used to when you're trying to do it under your chin. If you've got a beard, you know, in the way, it's, it takes a little bit. But I love that. The visor is very direct in like its open positions. Wind does not muck around with this thing at all and then it just slams down like you never get that cracked wind whistle noise so the only thing I wish they would have done one more like around there because it goes from there to closed but not a big deal the ease of changing the visors out is ridiculous like it's off to do the ghost bandit is a real pain in the ass. Click, click, lock it in, lock it in, you're done. So I could have swapped the visor out in three seconds. Love that. The padding is a lot different. 
it um, it's fairly hard to see here. I'll show you some close-ups, but it's it's more bumpy than smooth, if that makes sense. So it does take a little bit of getting used to. These, all the padding and all the lining and everything just pulls out so damn easy on this helmet. So it would be a dream to wire a microphone into. So that's a big plus. Both helmets, you can put the anti-fog things in, whatever they're called. I can't think of it off the top of my head. We'll run a few clips of me riding with the El Diablo and you can get a bit of a, a look, a bit of a vibe, see how <laughs> this thing, man, just gets looks from traffic. Like, you're sitting at lights, even when you ride past people, you see it, like, rubbernecks everyone as they drive past. You're like, what is that? These things are not big in Australia yet, guys. These, I believe, are going to take over the full face helmet market just because of how good they look, how many different designs they have, how light they are. You can ride with it all day, not get a sore neck. The wind just flows over it. Vents here, 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 at the back. Very cool helmet to wear. And I think having the bumps in the padding like gives more air pockets so your head doesn't cook. Big thing in Australia. When I first rode with it, I thought it was a little bit firm, but brand new helmet, you know, that happens. You gotta wear them in. I'm a size extra large in both. I think this is actually smaller in size than the Ghost Bandit, but only fractionally. They're both DOT approved which I believe is an American thing, but, you know, I have not crashed in either of them. Touch wood, which I don't want to do that test for you guys, but anyway. Alright, so let's talk about cost. The cost of these helmets really shouldn't come into play as far as I'm concerned, because what is the price of your head worth? Are you going to buy a cheap helmet because it's cheap and you can you know, get away with it. But what if you do crash, you know? Don't buy a cheap helmet. Buy something that's good, quality tested. All helmets that get the stickers, you know, the approved stickers, I know Australia's a little bit different, but everything has to go through crash tests and all, meet all these standards. Don't buy a cheap Chinese shit helmet because your life's worth more than that. So don't be a tight ass, buy a good one. All right, well, we've gone over the, the looks, the features, the weight, uh, what they look like when we're riding, what I think about them, what, you know, what wins. It's really personal preference. I think these are like assholes these days. Everyone's got one. These are unique, stand out like dog's balls, like you cannot miss this. So I suppose you could throw that safety aspect into it if you wanted to, like a nice, bright, sort of high-vis look. But, I don't know man, I own both of these, not sponsored, I'm going to be rocking this one, purely for the unique factor, it does breathe a bit better, we're coming into summer now in Australia, so it's going to get hot, and I just think it looks cool, my bike is pretty loud and tough and stuff, and this thing just looks cool on it, so, that's my theory, anyway, but, I hope that helps you guys, if it didn't, no worries. If it did, cheers. Give the video a thumbs up. And, um, yeah. I'll see you when the weather's good and we get back out in the boat and go fishing or crabbing. Bye!